So today, what we're going to talk about is an argumentative essay and how you put it together. So we're going to look at argumentative essay. Structure. And the key with an argumentative essay is that in order to be powerful, you don't just present one side of the issue. That's called stacking the deck. And instead, to make your essay strong, you need to show both sides of the issue. Now, that doesn't mean you sit there and be wishy-washy and say, oh, the death penalty has some good points and some bad points. Uh, but you do want to take a position. However, you need to show that <coughs> your position is stronger than the other side of the issue. So you're going to show both sides of the issue in order to show that your side is stronger. And there are typically two methods of organizing that you will usually see. Now, first off, we want to say, OK, what are the kinds of things you want to talk about? Some terminology. First, we have pro points. Those are the points in favor of your position. This can get a little bit confusing, because when we think of the word pro, it means for. Uh, but you have to remember the pro points are going to be the ones for your position, which means in a little bit of a confusing way, if your position is against something, for example, if you're against the death penalty, then your pro points are actually going to be the points against the death penalty. So pro points in your argumentative essay are going to be the points that you agree with. Then we also have con points. And those are going to be the points against your position. So we need to cover both of them. And one of the things we want to look at is how do you organize those in a way that will have the strongest impact on the reader, especially the strongest impact in favor of your position. So there are two typical patterns of organization you'll see. Now, there's nothing set in stone or cast in concrete or whatever cliche you want to use for something that's unchanging uh, that says you have to use one of these patterns. However, the reason these patterns are the most commonly seen patterns is because they are effective. So one pattern is what I like to call the ping pong pattern of development. That's where you start with a con point, and then you come back and refute it with a pro point. Refute basically means to argue against something. And then you present another con point, and then refute it with another pro point, and so on. and so forth. So that pattern of organization, the reason it works well is because the reader is going to remember best what comes last. So if you start with the con point, and then you bring in the po pro point that counteracts that con point, the pro point is what sticks in the reader's mind better. So that's why you will use this organization. You'll always follow a con point with a pro point. You don't ever leave a con point sitting there <coughs> with nothing after it to counteract it. The other pattern of organization I like to call the big piles pattern. And that's where you start with a big pile of con points. And then you have a gigantic <coughs> but or however or on the other hand some kind of really strong transition to let the reader know what you're doing. And then you have a big pile of pro points. And once again, this works for the same reason the other pattern works. The reader remembers best 
what came last. So if you start with the con points, then you have the pro points. The pro points are what's going to stick in the reader's mind. So the pro points are going to be in a position of strength. Once again, you see we do not leave a con point un unanswered. Uh, we always follow a con point with something that argues against it. Now, when you're doing that, you also want to look at, okay, how are you going to organize your points within each group of points? <coughs> and primarily what you'll do is you're going to organize the pro points And usually, once again, this is not something set in concrete or stone or whatever. Usually, you're going to put the strongest one first, or strongest one last, pardon me. And once again, the reason for it is because what the reader remembers is what comes last. So you want to finish with your very best pro point because that's the one the reader is going to remember best. You're also, by the way, usually you want to start strong. So you usually have your second strongest first. And once again, it's the same. It's uh, to have an effect on the reader. You want to start with a really strong pro point <coughs> because that way the reader can say, oh, yes, I agree with this. I want to read the rest of this essay. So, this is how you would want to put together an argumentative essay. Um, you would figure out what order you want the pro points in, and then after that, you can figure out which con points are the best ones to stick before the pro points. What order, so you can have the con points in an order that matches the pro points. But, the basic principle of this thing is to make your points in an order and organize them in such a way that it really proves to the reader your side of the issue is stronger than the other side.